Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Hi. Welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Hello, everybody. We're sitting here in our house. Kind of a rare video for you. We're usually outside. Today we have a Balak Bion box that showed up this morning from our friend Chris. Yes. He I sent it all the way from Boston. So cool, huh? That's now, a nice piece of plywood. Now here's something that Chris did that's, that no one else has done is Chris lined his box with plywood. Oh, so nice. cool, we can use the plywood, but his box is completely untouched. It looks like it's a brand new box when you see some of them that come here are just destroyed. This one's good too. All right. Well, let's see what we have here, guys. Look at cute and that, that light's wicked back there. Holy cow. For shopping, for shopping at the market. Hello, hello. Nice, heavy duty one, huh? Mm -hmm. we will use nice this. Yeah, we, we always need a box or a bag, I mean. Thanks, Chris. Oh, look at this nice calendar. Wow. Cool. Full of beautiful animals. Neat. And we have a pair of shoes. Looks like they're Shannon size. With a bunch of fancy masks here. Let's check those out. A little bag of different masks. Probably yours, I would imagine. No, they don't. Too small? No, too big. Too big for you? I I don't have I don't have huge feet. What's I thought we called them canoes. Nice little Maybe it fits on Well if it doesn't fit her, if it's too big for her, it'd be way too big for you. It's alright, we'll find a use for everything, I guarantee you. Oh, oh no, it's no. But it's that's okay. cool. You can we'll fix it. it. It's a little wicker duck. Look at oh, like that. A little wicker duck basket. Got smacked mm -hmm. on got smacked on the beak, but we we'll, we can fix that, I guarantee you. <laughs> Check that out. Isn't that neat? We love birds and ducks. Mm -hmm. And I a whole it. bag of travel things. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, I remember. What's in there? Like soap, yeah. shampoos and stuff probably? Mm -hmm. I can't I can't read them, but it's a bracket for something. Mm -hmm. It's a telescope peep sight. Oh, okay, good. something different. That's the peep sight. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Chris. Mm -hmm. What's that one? Some kind of cool bag, huh? That one bag. Another bag? Oh, look at that. It's a tool box. It's a tool bag. That's perfect, Chris. Thank you. I Thank you so much. Heavy duty tool pouch. And this one. I don't that one, huh? Is this a fan? Yeah, a fan, yeah. That's nice. Neat shape, though, huh? Oh. Keep going. There's a hatchet. Set the, set the knife over here. Wow, look at that. The nice one. He says his co-worker, a co-worker cut several of these out on a water jet. It's oh, they made it. They made it themselves. It's a malleable steel, so it won't hold an edge, but if you sharpen it, it would make a Fun throwing hatch. Oh, it'd be great for throwing, Chris. Mm -hmm. This was cut out with water. Can you imagine that? Water strong enough to cut out steel. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Coming out so high pressure that it computer operated that it can cut all these little holes and shapes out. Man, that thing's heavy too. Oh. That's wicked. I like this. <laughs> Look at that. that Look at that neat shape of that fan in there. Really throws the air too. That's a Christmas ornament. Little dog. 
We, well, Hank, let's hang this on the mirror of the car. Oh, yeah. What? That, that would be distracting when you're driving. Ah, nothing distracts me. Mm -hmm. Sure. Cooking nice cool one. for Marfie and Shannon. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. God, Jesus. Nice hey, for playing around. Look out, jeez. Careful. Oh, the car, look at all this good stuff. Wow, what's this? No. Nice looking. Oh, it's solar powered. Look at the, this top side. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a solar powered light. You can always use something like that right outside the house. The egg crystals. Oh, Egg crystals. Red eggs. Ova. Ova easy. Chris says these are as good as fresh eggs. Oh, these are great for camping and stuff oh. like that because they're powdered, they're dry. Lemon pepper tuna, nice plus. Look at this thing. This thing's make, look at this thing's making all kinds of look, making all kinds of lines. Light. That's really neat. Another lemon pepper tuna, nice bag. And we got a bunch of bags too. Mm, nice we, one. We, we can't find good bags here. Look at all the cool books he sent me. Here's yeah. Alex Cava. Breaking Creed. Cool. I love reading, Chris. I really do. I haven't had any new books for three years since my dad died. Robert Ludlum. Osterman Weekend. That was a cool movie. I bet the book's fantastic. What you got here? Here we have... Near East Couscous Toasted Pine Nuts. It's pretty neat. And the same brand, Roasted Red Pepper, Basil, and Mediterranean Curry. This stuff? Yeah, look oh, look at this. It's the same. It, no, yeah. I yeah, but just what, arranged it. It's fine. I'll, I'll just take the one off. These are so cool. These are packages of, of meat mm -hmm. sealed up in in soft packages. So that's something that you need. You take that in your pack with you. You can have like fresh canned meat with you. Mm, that's <laughs> when, I, when I left America in 2004, there was nothing like this. Thanks so much, Chris. Fantastic stuff. Oh, so mixed, useful. Mixed dried vegetables. Mixed dried vegetables. Should we try it over? Snake? Oh, no, it's not. He wouldn't it snake yet. I will try that when I Adobo go. seasoning yeah. from Village Marflex. Something like that. Very cool. Murphy loves seasonings. Blueberry. Wow. Oh, pancakes. pancakes. Holy cow. I will try that one. Looks lovely. Three big packages of blueberry, birch, birch benders, pancake, and waffle mix. Blueberry. Oh, you guys will love those. And then I think the back one is blueberry topping for them. Oh. Like, like syrup. Mm -hmm. Just a guess. Mm -hmm. Them, no. Yeah, this Chris told me about this today. This Chris made this for a job they had. They had to take split pieces of bamboo and put them over pipes and stuff for a, for a, a, a set in a, in a movie or a TV show or whatever. Mm -hmm. He made this tool here out of some pipes and used this to chop the inside part of the bamboo out. All those, oh, all those yeah. things that come across. This mm -hmm. is up. And it's something something that he made all by himself. Isn't that neat? That's but he said he thought it'd be he said he thought it'd be great for in the garden too. Yeah. What's that? Oh, plexiglass. 
plexiglass. Thanks, Chris. With a hole drilled in it. Let's see what you got there, huh? What's this? I don't know. That's a nice container. Absolutely pure maple syrup and a really cool looking that. Look at that. The bottle is a little log cabin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ever seen nothing like that before? Now here, here's something also interesting too. Now you see these brands here, Birch, Birch Bend, and the fancy maple syrup. Now Chris is from the northeastern corner of, of the United States, up in in Boston, Massachusetts. Oh. So they have different different types of foods up there, and, and uh, like I say, they make 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 maple syrup just north of there, and even there. 18th century playing cards. Cool. Bacon bits? You like those, huh? Mm. Tastes just like bacon? Mm. And more adobo something? Oh, adobo. A, adobo Sil with cilantro and lime. Wow, I bet that puts a lot of flavor and stuff. Let's put the stuff in the ground and around the space already. What's this one? Use this cable to hang. Oh, the solar light. Okay, cool. You this this one over here probably. No way. By the electrical cable. It may break. Very cool. They're giant zip ties in there too. Mm -hmm. Looks like. Uh, right. We'll take them apart and we'll see what they are. A Bluetooth speaker. Wow. Yeah, I could use one of those. My phone doesn't have an earphone jack on it. Eighteenth century playing cards. That's really cool. I want to read. I want to read what it says about them. So what we got here. So here's your solar lights you're talking about. Oh, okay. It's like a set of lights for. It's like a set of lights for your camp. He sent he sent a cable so he can run the camp the, the cable around the camp to hang them on. I like instead of having a cheap rope, he's got a, a cable. Neat plexiglass. That's really nice, Chris. Thanks. I leave soap. Be so useful. <laughs> What's that? A soap? A soap that looks like a leaf. Very neat. It's a new one for me. Look at all the books. Brad Taylor. Solar lantern. Oh. This is a fantastic light here, guys. This is a D dot light S3. Now this is this has a a small LED bulb in it. Oh, this has this has multi multi settings on it. Has a solar panel on the back. Chris gave me one of these, what, three or four years ago, and I've only charged mine twice, as many times as I use it. I think it just, just the light in the room keeps it charged up. Fantastic. Neat. The Three Musketeers. George Pelicanos, down by the river where the dead men go. I bet that's a cool mystery, huh? Look how look how big it is too. It's a different different shape book. Oh, look, neat little ones too. Oh, Robert Louis, Louis Stevenson. This is this is old time stuff here. Look at it's got all the old all the old wood prints in it and stuff. Ah, wow, but that's cool. That's what the Three Musketeers is too. It's got the old prints in it. Mm -hmm. That was. That was the question on the game the other day, Shan. Who was the author of the Three Musketeers? <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't know that. I, you couldn't. Have, I could. Around the world, eighty days. Oh, around the world, eighty days. That's a famous story. I think Shannon will like this stuff. Oh, Adventures of Robinson Crusoe. I found I found a, a book of Robinson Crusoe in the library in Talaboon that was from 1938. That was kind of neat. Andrew Gross. Andrew Gross. We say that. One mile under. Neat. Probably a probably a deep sea book or something, huh? Deep sea mystery. Ah, oh, here we go. Lee Childs, a Jack Reacher novel, worth dying for. 
<laughs> if you're gonna want to watch, read some good adventure type books, guys. The Lee Childs are fantastic. Top C. Another different style, size one too. W period E period B Griffin. Top secret. Beloved enemy. Eric Van Lustbader. Beloved enemy. Beloved enemy. A Jack McClure novel. Neat. Eye to eye. I I for an eye. Ben Coes maybe. And they're all all American, all national bestsellers. The lost ones, Ace Atkins. The lost ones, Ace Atkins. One of the best crime writers at work today. Neat. And it, what's really cool about that guy? It's the hardcover book. You don't see many of those anymore. Here we go. John Sanford. From. Uh, John John Sanford is is an excellent author. He's got a, a, a huge huge series of books, and this is this is his pseudonym. He's he's actually a famous uh, newspaper writer, I believe, a Pulitzer Prize winner, if I'm not mistaken. Cross Justice by James Peterson. These are really good books too. These are Alex. Most of these are Alex Cross novels. And Alex Cross novels are fantastic. That's another series. That's also been on TV and, and movies and stuff like that. Little, little rubber football. It's pretty neat. An ammo can. So cool. Full of all kinds of neat stuff here, guys. Full of. Antis antacid soft chews. You might like those, Shannon. Mm. Stomach relief. Sh Shannon has some problems with her digestion sometimes. There we go. Alka Seltzer, cold and flu. That's some fantastic stuff. <laughs> Nothing better than Miracle Grow. Oh, what's that? Fertilizer. Oh. Wow, look at that. That's a that beautiful throwing knife. Did you read that, Shan? I'm not good at, I can't, my eyes are so bad. I've had this throwing knife for over 30 years. Although they are no longer made, they are highly sought after and collectible. Enjoy. Wow, thanks, Chris. We'll put that in with our collection. It's very We won't throw that one. Very expensive. Look how, look how thick and heavy it is. Mm. Beautiful wood on it. Wow. A fanny pack. Neosporin? Look at that. I think it is. A Nathan hip pack or fanny pack, whatever you call it. I call them a hip pack. I wear them in front. Fanny oh. packs when you wear them over your butt. Okay. For your fanny. And that's what people call them, fanny packs. Oh. I always call them hip packs. Look at that. He was telling me about this day. This is a really cool alcohol stove that Chris made himself. Made out of a super heavy duty aluminum can. This is the, the bottles that have the tall neck on them. Look at that. This one here, you just set your pot right on top of it. You don't have to have a stand, and then the fire comes out around your pot. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Look how thick it is, though. How heavy it is. When the iPhone hit us in symbol. We were in symbol using the, this iPhone. The one that I gave Mark? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Look at this. I asked him what he asked if we need anything. I said, could you send us some band aids? Big giant box of flexible band aids. I get cut so often. Thanks so much, Chris. This this alcohol stove is awesome. I'll do a special video on that. Antibacterial bandages. Oh, this is cool here. Liquid Band-Aid. Spray it on your cut. It just puts a coating over the top and seals your arm in. You cut in. I got a wicked cut I cut this morning. This is the Alka-Seltzer. Oh, wow, look at this neat stuff in here. Holy cow, look at this. Cute Drawing stars. It looks like a keychain. It's a keychain. One more throwing star here. It looks like um, wrenches. It's oh, it's, it's, no, it's screwdrivers screwed. and stuff. Oh. Also, a can of oh, another, another bottle of liquid bandage. And this is extra cool, Chris. 
This is a piece of antler that he found somewhere. Look at that. That's from a Massachusetts white-tailed deer. Let's look at these right here. Let's see. Look how heavy they are. Mm. Throwing stars. One with the curved blades on it. Thanks, Chris. I got a special target outside just for that. And this is a very nice plastic ammo box too. Very nice. Very, very. Yeah. Oh, what we got here? Oh, premium dried cranberries. You guys will like those. You really like those. Yeah, we'll do some taste test videos and stuff. Oh, I thought this was I thought this was a helmet, Shannon. Yeah, me too. I was gonna say it's a I was gonna say it's a motorcycle helmet. Uh, oh, two fancy wooden bead necklaces. Put it, put it back in here. Oh, here's a special box for Shannon. Where's your knife, Thank you. And a box of heart healthy mix of nuts. You'll love those. Some of the big Brazilian nuts and stuff in there. You'll be amazed at those. Holy cow, guys. Look at the rest of this. This is amazing here. Seal Team 6. One more box in there too that needs to be opened, I guess. We have. Oh. Oh, puzzle. Oh. Feeble. Oh my god, fancy soap. Look at that. You like that smell, huh? Mm, I like this smell. Oh, I'm sure you do. Murphy puzzles. loves the fragrances. Wow. Shannon loves puzzles. Puzzles. I love the cute. Neat. So nice. many puzzles. This particular this thing. Puzzles. Oh, look at this. Like a can of sardines, but rainbow trout. Never heard of that. Puzzles. It's like a can of sardines, but inside it's trout. A different type of fish. Trout. trout. Freshwater fish from back home. It smells Yeah, Yeah, that one went out in the kitchen. I'll show you that next. Oh. Oh, I know it's in that other box. Okay. Sunflower seeds. That's so cool. Get it. This is... What else you got in there, Shannon? Oh, it's a it's a cuckoo clock. Oh, that's the cuckoo clock. It's a cuckoo clock. That's a that's a real cuckoo clock from Germany. No, Switzerland. Or Switzerland, which is which is like, like Germany late. Uh, Be real careful with it now. This is a real one. I've got the directions over there. They gave me the directions oh. the other day. And all these things hang from it. That's the weight you gotta wind it every day by hang, moving the moving the pine cones. Oh. Look at that guys. That's a real cuckoo clock. Wow. Like that. That's so neat. Well, let's set that back in there and we'll get the directions out and we'll figure out how to use it properly. That one will make noise. It goes, every hour it goes, cuckoo, cuckoo. A little bird jumps out and says, cuckoo, cuckoo. You don't know what a cuckoo clock is, wow. I guess. That's a real one. Movie. I've never seen one before. Oh, you, you've got one now, Shannon. I thought this other little box was a cuckoo clock. Let's see what this is. Open that one up, huh? We'll see what that's what's in that one. Watch out, it's very sharp, like a razor. Oh, a 24 book. That's cool. That was a great series, wasn't it? Vince Flynn, the survivor. Catherine Coulter, The Lost Key. Now I got something to do, guys. I, I love sitting around reading. Wow, look at that. Just, just grab the, 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 the books out of there once. Oh! Oh, that's so cool. The Field Guide to Geology. The field Guide to Geology. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll be able to learn something about our rocks, huh? Look at all that stuff. We love textbooks and stuff like that. I think that goes with this, huh? Oh, sorry. I should. No, no, no. 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 
Look at this. A painted rock. It says love on it. And be safe. Neat. We love stones and rocks. That's, you know what that is? Wait, you, know, don't know. you don't know what that is, huh? Oh, is that music? Mom? You know what that is? Huh? Look. Oh, look at you. That's so cool. Oh, you got a bunch of them in there, huh? That sounds so pretty. Hello, Brittany. <laughs> this is a different song. That's, that's 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 so cool, Chris. No one's ever seen anything like that here. Isn't that isn't that neat? How the stuff we just take for granted, we grew up with, they, they've never seen before. Wow! Look at this, Shannon. Oh, that's so little cool. bitty miniature deck of cards. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the pretty too. Poker King cards, American playing cards, and science fiction playing cards. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. We love we love cards. There's probably neat things saying on them and stuff for questions. Who knows what it is? Huh? What's that one? Okay, that's for this here. So is the rest of this, okay? And we're getting down to the, the neatest thing that Chris sent here. Another can of rainbow trout. Awesome. We've got a. Oh, that one. Another bar of soap. Uh, an IP. Shannon McKenna. Yeah, the rest of this is for the for the next thing. We'll show that all at once. <clears throat> Another John Sanford deadline. His books are fantastic. I haven't read any of these for years now. It looks like Air Bud, and it says U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Cool. I don't know what that is. Another Lee Child, Dying, Die Trying. Another Jack Reacher book. So much yeah, yeah, on every side. And a Mark. Mark Greeny, Dead Eye. That's so nice, Chris. Okay, now here's another book here. Lee Childs, Make Me, another hardcover book. That's so nice. And this is, look at this. Two minutes. Look at this, huh? Wood for your table. Mm. You use that? The placemat for eating off of. He said this is from his mom's house. From his mom's house. Oh, oh, okay. This looks like what, what's, what's this one? Oh, a tiny switchblade. What? Not switch. I mean, a tiny like um. Oh. Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knife. But it's not just army knife. It has scissors on it. Neat. Little miniature multi-tool knife. Might be a vector knife. <laughs> Cute guy. It also has a slide here. This is for something Thanks here. Thanks so much, Chris. I don't know what the slide is. We'll have to look at it a little closer. Oh, it came in this package here? Yeah. It just handed me. Neat. Okay, now here's here's the thing that Chris sent. It's so cool. Look at this, guys. Chris sent us a telescope. This is this is this isn't a regular telescope either, guys. This is an extremely special type of telescope. Look at that. This is a special award-winning. What's what's that word say? It starts with an E. Edmund. Edmund Scientific. Mm -hmm. Barrington, New Jersey. 
Made in USA. Made in USA. Awesome. But this spe this design telescope is extra special because it even has a little shoulder strap on it, so you can carry it with you like out, out to the mountains or something like that where we're going to go. It has a really cool special base on it, and it actually it actually rotates on the base and, and tips in different directions. Chris said this is so powerful that you'll be able to see the rings on Saturn. Really? Yep. Wow. I, just, I was talking to him about, he was telling me about it today, we are talking about it. Yeah, we need clear skies though, and it's cloudy out right now. Uh, if, if, during the night? I, I, always, I, was, I, I always dreamed of buying one of these when I was younger back home in America. I, I, I've seen them so many times advertised, it's such a fantastic design. The one thing that's different about this is when you look through it, everything's upside down. But there's a special attachment in one of the that box there. One of those lenses flips everything around for like looking at birds and things like that, you know, so you can see in the right way. But when you're looking at the moon, it doesn't make a difference whether it's upside down or not. Mm. Chris explained all that to me today. Never pointed at the sun. It's got some warnings on here and stuff. Um. This, this this is so powerful that we'll be able to see rocks on the moon. Can you imagine that? This is something you go out in the country out there, and you set this on top of the car, and then you, you go look through the eyepiece, and you, you won't believe the things you can see with it. It's got no, it's great, big, great big fancy mirrors and lenses in here that, that magnify everything beyond incredible. Can see and then the different eyepieces have different magnifications too. He said the rubber one's the one we want to use first. That's just straight. And then things like the moon and stuff is incredible. There's a couple other ones that are so powerful that you can't even... That's what that other thing was for. You, you line it up so you can see what it's pointing at. So you can point it at the, the star or the, the, the planet or whatever you want to get. He said you'll be able to see, he said you'll be able to see the, the, the moons of Jupiter. Can you imagine that? We gotta find Jupiter first, but other than that. So thank thank you so much, Chris. This is absolutely incredible. All the stuff you sent is absolutely incredible. Um, the girls had a blast opening the box. Yeah. And uh, we'll put all the stuff to great use. Absolutely fantastic use. Murphy's looking forward to using the the spices and the, I know Shannon will have a blast with the telescope and the other stuff. So Thank you so much. Now, Chris Chris lives here now, which is pretty cool. Chris retired this year. And uh, he's, a, he's actually living, well, he's not living on our island. He's living on an island off our island right now. But uh, I, he's going to travel. He's going to travel the Philippines for a couple of years and find probably his soulmate and settle down somewhere. And uh, more power to him. Chris, again, Chris is just a wonderful guy. We've known him for, he's, He's been here, this is the third time he's been here, right? Mm -hmm. third, the third year he's been here, right? He okay. came the first year by himself, second year he came with Carla, yeah. right? And this is the third time. Yes. And uh, I, I carry a bag that he gave me the first time we met him in, in a little restaurant. He showed up and he took some stuff out of a bag and said, here, take the bag too. <laughs> I carry it every day. It's a fabulous quality stuff. But you got there a nice hat too, huh? Yeah, it's from the company Oh, cool. Yeah, Chris had a fabulous job. He was a just the things that they did, the different countries they went to 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 make uh, sets for uh, for countries and for TV shows and all this different stuff. He did the they did the the sets for the Super Bowl. <laughs> in fact, he's got a bag in the other room here. That's a Super Bowl bag that he got from the last Super Bowl, and he said we can have the bag after he takes all his stuff out of it. <laughs> it's a huge. It's a big enough bag we can stuff you in it, huh? So, what you got to say, huh? Um, thank you so much, Chris, for all the stuff and for be being so uh, kind. Or kind and generous is a yeah, good word, yeah. yeah. Very there's, there's, generous. there's so much stuff here, it's, you very can't imagine it. Nice, it's just absolutely nice. incredible. Thank yeah. you so Chris, Chris, was here, Chris was here at our house today. He, he drove by and stopped, and Murphy made him lunch. Mm. <laughs> I had a great three hour talk with him. A wonderful guy, so smart. God bless you, praise be on this shore. Thank you, thank you so much. 
Oops. Thank you so much, Chris. Is it? Shannon, Shannon's short and sweet, but that's okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he knows. He knows Shannon. Stuff for cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Good thanks work. everybody. Thanks for watching, and I hope you hope you enjoyed it, sharing it with you. The video first off is for Chris, so you can see the the wonderful stuff that that he gave us. How how much we we enjoyed it. But we'll we'll talk to Chris personally about it anyway. So. Uh, Take care, everybody. Hashtag 22 a day, no more. Go out and have some fun, but watch your six really close. Everybody be extra extra careful around the water this year. And, no, oh, you got a Santa hat too, huh? Cool. It's, it's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. Yeah, it's still I. And please don't take things for granted. Appreciate the things you have and the wonderful people that are around you because in a blink of an eye, they can all be gone. So until next time, be safe, everybody. Take care. Bye. God bless. See you next time. Yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs>